Number of Russian troops in Ukraine significantly increases. Kyiv warns. The number of Russian troops on Ukrainian territory has significantly increased since 2022. Between 510,000 and 513,000 Russian servicemen are currently stationed in the temporarily occupied territories, citing Lieutenant General Oleksandr Pavlyuk, the commander of the Land Forces of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. According to him, the number of Russian occupiers may increase over the year as Russia is bolstering its forces for summer offensives. We believe the Russians want to mobilize 100,000 more troops and that they will use these to reinforce their forces already in Ukraine in June and July, he said. Pavlyuk said that Russians are losing up to 30,000 personnel each month due to deaths and injuries. We estimate that by the end of the year, the Russians intend to mobilize about another 300,000 soldiers. However, they are losing between 25,000 and 30,000 personnel each month due to deaths and injuries, he said. Earlier in the fall, the general staff of the Ukrainian armed forces reported that Russia planned to call up between 400,000 and 700,000 soldiers as part of a new wave of mobilization. This could also affect the temporarily occupied territories in Chechnya and Ukraine. As previously indicated by Ukrainian military intelligence, Russia continues mobilization efforts for the war against Ukraine. At the time, intelligence services said that over 20,000 individuals are mobilized each month. Additionally, former Secretary of the National Security and Defense Council Oleksiy Danilov previously said that Russia is attempting to recruit mercenaries from Central Asian countries for the war against Ukraine. Active mobilization of Russian occupation forces continues in the temporarily occupied territories of Ukraine. In particular, miners and prisoners are being mobilized in the occupied Luhansk region. Russia is increasing arms production, dealing a serious blow to Ukraine. Daily Express. The British daily newspaper Daily Express states that Russia is continuously increasing its arms production, thereby dealing a serious blow to Ukraine. The Russian army already controls almost a fifth of Ukrainian territory and continues to advance westward, especially in the southeast. As for the seriousness of Moscow's intentions not to rest on its laurels, the publication cites Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu, who said on May the 1st at a meeting at the headquarters of the Joint Group of Forces in the Northern Military District Zone, to maintain the required pace of the offensive and ensure the build-up of the combat strength of troop groups for further actions, it is necessary to increase the volume and quality of weapons and military equipment supplied to the troops primarily weapons. The British journalist clearly became afraid after these words from the head of the Russian military department for the fate of Ukraine. He recalled the successes of the Russian armed forces in the Donetsk direction and in the Kharkov region. The difficulties with holding and resisting the Russian offensive were confirmed the day before by the commander-in-chief of the Ukrainian armed forces, Alexander Sirsky, who admitted the loss of several settlements to the west of the key stronghold in eastern Ukraine, the city of Avdiivka. True, the main reason for the failures was once again cited as the lack of proper military assistance to Kyiv from the west, and this despite the fact that the Russian military at the front does not experience any problems with supplies. Moreover, Russian defense companies produce so much ammunition that there is more than enough of it, not only for the warring faction, but also for replenishing warehouse stocks. 
In a word, for Kyiv, literally everything is lost if the Western allies do not take urgent measures to correct the situation. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg expressed concern about this. He acknowledged that it was the alliance's delays in providing promised military assistance that allowed Russia to gain an advantage on the battlefield. What then prevented the Ukrainian armed forces from achieving success during the counter-offensive last year when the troops had an abundance of everything remains beyond the brackets? Western partners promised to support Ukraine as long as needed but the delay in military assistance affected Kyiv's ability to defend itself, a British journalist stated.